Well, welcome to week six, module three, expanding and communicating your leadership platform. For those of you who are versed in gradual release, this is where we've gone from I do it, to we do it, to you do it. And it's an exciting time, hopefully, in your own leadership development and reflection to be able to get to a point now where you're starting to put together your entire first leadership platform, a draft that you'll continue to revise over and over through the years as your experiences grow and your kind of understanding of where you are and where you want to be changes. In preparation for this week, you've been busy drafting subsections one through four. Hopefully, you're on target to complete those sections a week from now. And you practiced verbally on the spot articulating all of your sections of your leadership platform to significant others, colleagues, anyone who will ask you the question, what do you believe in education, or what do you think about curriculum instruction, or what are you doing as a bully on campus? Uh, the purpose of this week is to continue to look at um, communicating your platform and to get you ready to understand that your subsections, all four of them are due next week, March 5th. And to start understanding that those subsections are then going to be married to the introduction you've already completed. You're going to read through it, kind of re-edit it for the last time and submit that the last day of class, which is the last day of week seven, um, which is, excuse me, last day of week eight, which is March 19th. Um, we've already talked about your platform. You have a pretty good draft of the introduction, sections A through E, your beliefs, how that connects with your story, your professional experience, your leadership style as it's developing, and your non-negotiables. In this past week, you've begun to draft sections of your the detailed part of your platform that would be about specific questions you might get asked about. What do you think about curriculum? Or, like I said, um, there's a bully on campus, what do you do? Or um, do you do distance learning on campus? What's your belief on that? Or how do you get more parents involved? Whatever the question is, you have kind of now started thinking about your beliefs and your story and your examples related to each of those areas because those are likely to be areas that come up in any interview. And you really, throughout the course of the day, in any conversation with a parent or a teacher or a visitor, um, where you might have to explain your position about a particular event or about a topic in general. And I hope you continue to understand that these are some of the sections that you'll develop over the course of your professional uh, career and your leadership development. They're the only four sections you're being asked to do for this leadership platform. But please continue to make it a point to contribute and develop your platform as it grows. Because from here, you have the information to help you organize your thoughts and you need to present them in a more uh, immediate response talked about the, using the pyramid to kind of conceptualize your beliefs about uh, each of these subsections. The subsections kind of designed to help you think about what's my belief? Why do I believe that quickly? What are the components related to this topic? Like parents, there's lots of things I could talk about. The thing you want to talk about or you're forced to talk about by the nature of the example or question asked to you and then explain your highlight. Um, this is something that could be used if you were talking about something for 30 seconds in an elevator, for five, three to five minutes if you're answering a question in an interview, in two to 20 minutes if you're uh, communicating to a group, in an entire course if you were teaching a, a professional course on prayer and involvement. Um, again, we also looked at that same pyramid kind of in a two-dimensional format that I suggested would be an easy way to start helping you frame your subsections. I hope you refer to this uh, format item. I will re make sure where it's reposted into the um, Blackboard. And um, I gave you an example uh, as well of my beliefs around parents that came out of my platform, why I believed it, all the things I could talk about regarding parent involvement, and the fact that I wanted to talk about a specific, a specific area, and then I provided an example. So for this next week, I'm adding to Blackboard a draft of my platform. We'll call that Bumpian's platform. And in it, you will find my introduction 
and three of the four subsections. I've given you a subsection of my platform specific to curriculum, to parent involvement, and to culture and discipline. I have not given you my subsection related to technology. I'm giving you the platform kind of as a way of seeing how this all fits together and how it all looks, at least as I've designed it. I didn't want to give you every subsection because I want you to resist the temptation to pattern your platform after mine. In fact, I hope you go back and look at my platform after you've drafted your entire platform or if you're unbelievably stuck on a subsection rather than use it to guide yours. I've had different experiences than you. I've been in leader position, leadership positions for a longer period of time than you. My sphere of influence is different than you. Obviously, my platform is going to look very different than yours. But it doesn't matter at what point in your career you put it together. It just matters that you have a cohesive and organized way of organizing your thoughts on paper so you'll be able to use those and present those uh, verbally in a variety of contexts. So uh, on Blackboard, you will find my uh, my current draft of my leadership platform posted for three of the subsections and for the introduction as a whole. So looking forward to the next two weeks. Next week you're going to complete your subsections and the following week you're going to take those subsections, you're going to add them to your intro, so you're going to have one document now, you're going to read through it, edit it, and you're going to submit it at the end of week eight for a review. Uh, so until then, enjoy discovering your platform. Know thyself, be proactive, find your voice, be independent, expand your sphere of influence. That's what writing this platform has been about, taking all the habits you've learned, all the things you want to build in the culture of the school, the things that make you, you, your story, your experiences, the style you want to develop, and the experiences you want to share. Your leadership platform is an expression of who you are in your current sphere of influence and the sphere of influence you hope to grow into. So enjoy writing it. It's a very, very important part of your leadership development. It's been a blast being on this journey with you. Take care.